Yep, that's me. Five years ago, just hours after picking up my 2008 Acura TL. started off bone stock and throughout the years we've done a number to this car bags wheels new wheels fenders tail lights headlights starlights steering wheel full bolt on setup and even started a custom trailer setup and all these mods to bring us to today and i still do not have something i've wanted since the beginning while I'm talking right now, we have 20 people on the list. The True Dual RV6 Catback Exhaust. We need at least 30 people on the list. We're at 25 as I speak right now. It's going for $1,900. I know it's a steep price. Uh, please help. I got some good news and some bad news. True Dual Exhaust from RV6 totally bailed out on us, guys. We were supposed to get 30 people on the list pay $1,900. He wasn't really excited about it to begin with. He realizes that we're at 25, we're at 30, we're at 35, 40, 40. It ended up getting the 57. But I guess today is my lucky day and I'm on my way to pick up my dream Acura TL exhaust setup. currently about seven minutes out of the meat spot and uh my car doesn't need it my car absolutely does not need this the plan is to go full three inch but i've had my eyes on this exhaust for four years now to this day to this day to this day so today's video you guys are going to hear what it sounds like on a turbo setup tl the rv6 true duel and yeah <laughs> Three minutes away, guys. I'm gonna need everybody to go leave a like on today's video. Let's try to get this video up to 500 likes. Here we are. I see his car. What's going on? How you doing, man? Take it easy. Brian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Brian. She is. Yeah. So you just parted ways with the car? Or? Yeah, I just sold my, I haven't sold my car yet. But what do you do for work? Plumber, yo. Plumber? Yeah. You do construction too, right? Oh, yeah. Wait, what do you do? That's good. Oh, it's like, oh. and demo. Is this two and a half or two and a quarter? If it was two and a quarter, it'd probably be better for the turbo setup, but yeah, it's just too small. It has all the hangers and everything. Oh, you have a gasket for the uh It didn't come with no gasket. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. For a cat back. Alright, here you go. Sick, bro. Count that out. Shout out to Brian, following the channel, hooking me up with the exhaust. These are some solid pieces right here. Got some weight to it. He bought his Type S for $7,000 from a lady with this exhaust already on it. Like, that's a dream find. We're back on the road and headed back, and I was checking my Instagram stories and just figured out that today, right now, is Honda Fest. I could have trailered my car up here, honestly. So today we got a video packed full of content, and you're gonna have to wait till the end to hear what this RV6 True Duel sounds like. We just got in, Honda Fest, here we come. Wearing my driving fit. <laughs> right off the bat, I see baby Buddha. The man, the man. Hi, right, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? Hey, man, bro. Good, are you? Good, good. good. Hey, Deontay, well, Yo, Alex. How's it going, Alex? Deontay. Deontay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Sitting clean as always. Give him a follow, guys. I guess we just starting off with clean TSXs. I'm not a hater anymore. Clear tails, the Meisters, that black paint looking real good. Ah, here's the boys. <laughs> How's it doing, man? How's it see, man? How's it going, man? What's up? What's up, bro? How you doing? Darren. Thanks for giving me a call. Yeah, I'm for glad sure. You showed up. Wish the TL was here though. We'd I know. All, we'd all love to lose on the show. I was literally just checking your story. <laughs> we'd all love to lose right now. <laughs> I don't know if I told you or not, but I got the M90, the M90 adapter kit, and I yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. It, yeah. I think you did tell me. Yeah. So, but I also um, I got the J Spec RL 3.5. 
mm -hmm. motor from Japan. Oh, really? So I'm going to build that. I got it on a stand. I'm going to build it and then put the M90 on that and then put the 3.5. So the proper beefy setup right yeah. there. Yeah. I'll be sick. Yes, sir. I just got the clutch in, but it's, it's not broken in yet. Close. We're close. Oh, man. What we got going on here? Man, I got to get that black manifold. Is this done? Yeah, the forged carbon covers are nice. Jeez. All this music is way too loud. Got the TE37s on here. One day, maybe. Let's see what we got going on back here. <laughs> Civic lineup, every color. I even got the NSX. Let me get detailed though. Sheesh. It's like extra weight kept him up at night. <laughs> Look at that shit. There's not one thing on there for extra weight. <laughs> this build's gonna make some people cry soon. TSX. I remember this one. A K swap. And I'm looking for a J swap. All motor build. That's why I like right now. Got the integer out here. Yeah, I don't know that one though. Let me see that shit there. All the K's. I want to see a J swap. <laughs> Ooh, I like the smoked headlight. Now, how'd I miss this? It better be a six speed. Hey. I want that. <laughs> Is your car? No, nah, that's my homeboy's car. Hey, uh, snaps you on the mic. It's yeah. Smooth what? Johnson. Smooth <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> that's what it is. How's it going? It's supposed to be an Apex Blue Pearl. Okay. But it's a little bit lighter. I didn't realize he paint matched. Dude, you didn't realize? He yeah. just did that. He uh, paint matched everything. I probably should have left this one alone. That's yeah, okay. That's yeah. a nice title. Did it fit? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was hoping because the new side was from the TL. Oh, and I tried to make it fit on the TSA. You should uh, check out his trunk. <laughs> what the? What's that? A 15 back there? Oh, uh, it's a 12. Yeah. It's a 12. Yeah. I'm gonna need that paint job. <laughs> <laughs> nice talking to you, man. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Oh man, those guys are funny. We got another clean type R. Perfect. Lawless. It may look so much better with this. It looks so much better. Like my outside was good. It looks that mutant though. And you know what? I kind of do need a new daily. 
Oh, he's fast. He's real fast. Which fit you guys got? I'm taking the gray. All right, we found the new daily. It's turbo too. That's the perfect daily set. J swap it. You can fit a J in there. <laughs> okay, they got mirrors down here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, turbo turbo mode. Mode. Sheesh. I missed that earlier. Well, you can put them back here because the motor's back here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Super clean. Eighty-four thousand on the dash. Ooh. One day, maybe. Maybe one day. I love your tattoos. Got another Integra Type S. Lowered a little bit. On some forge wheels. I feel like I've seen this one on YouTube. All the way from Idaho. These front ends are so aggressive. It's gonna wrap things up for Honda Fest. Let's go install the exhaust. Woo. One thing I did not see that I was hoping to see out here was a J swapped Civic. To bring back the Integra name on this channel, I think a J swapped Integra would be. Back. Bah. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the new True Dual RV6 Rare to Find Discontinued Catback. For those of you guys watching and don't know anything about this system, let me catch you up real quick. I think it was 2010 RV6 first made these and wanted to dominate the space and they made a very killer setup. It was around for only four years before they had to call it quits. From the beginning, they are barely making any money off of these. Cost of piping and product that went into this wasn't paying a lot and people were already complaining. The cost of the catback system was 1500 bucks. Every time they went back into production, there would be a $500 deposit to ensure that uh, people were paying up. Double the piping means double the welds. And this is not just any, they got, they got all the crossbars welded up together. A lot more welding and fitting went into this setup than the average catback. I didn't get into the TL game until 2017. And it was probably 2018, 2019 that I actually heard one of these and when I fell in love with it, before I even knew up from down from what a car was and I was learning how to drive stick. You buy a car, you wanna do something to it to make it sound good and you look up best exhaust for Acura TL. And when the RV6 came up, that's when I started diving into it and everyone's like, bro, you're gonna spend like 1800 because they're discontinued. Here we are, six years later. With a stock Acura TL and the V3 J pipe, this setup would gain around 16 horsepower alone. So we got two and a quarter piping all the way to the back. We got a resonator right here in the middle. The whole setup is made out of 304 stainless steel. The inlet side is two and a half. When they did make them though, they had an optional three inch. All the pieces come apart with these clamps. So it should be fairly easy install. And yeah, that's to get you guys caught up. Enough talk guys, time for the fun part. We wanna know what this thing is gonna sound like. Do you guys already know what the car sounds like already? You wanna hear it again? All right, let's go. That's warmed up. I mean, it ain't nothing to complain about.
because this rear OEM setup, it goes from two and a half, with these weird bends in it, down to, what is this? Is that a one inch? Like, talk about restriction. I don't know how much these mufflers on the RV6 restrict, but this setup, if it was just this size piping all the way back to the mufflers, then this setup would be pretty solid. But whatever's going on right here, it's gotta go. We got the Vibrant right here. Waste the camera battery pulling that thing out. So we're gonna get the RV6 put in in three, two, one. Ooh! RV6, baby. Bro, I'm about to drop this car and see what it sounds like. I'm gonna need everybody to leave a like. The tips are sick. They look just like the OEM. Yeah, man, I got some OEM ones right here. These OEM ones right here look just about like the OEM ones over there. It's seven o'clock now, we got started around five, so it's only been two hours that it's been cooling off. It may be half cold, half warm. That's louder, for sure. All right, so that's regular idle, pretty quiet. I like that. <laughs> It almost sounds like there's an exhaust leak. It's probably the pipe on this side. Um, Clean <laughs> fluid dripping out of all the spots. So I might just have to go through and tighten them all even more. Let me know how you guys think it sounds. I do not feel like jacking this thing up and going down there right now. I've been on my back for the last two hours. We're gonna call that it. I'll eventually go down there and double tighten those again. I already went through and tried tightening everything, but, and it felt, it felt real snug, but I might just need to tighten them even more just cause a lot of pressure. But we got the RV6 True Duels in the car, finally. It sounds really good, but what this setup really belongs on is with the V3 J pipe and the pre-cat deletes. The turbo setup definitely muffles it quite a bit. And what this setup really needs to make the true dual sound perfect, this is what we need on a full bolt on TL. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to those. Maybe I'll slap it on my little brother's car just to hear what it sounds like. All right, let's make a deal, guys. If this video gets 600 likes, we will slap the true dual on my little brother's car and the J pipe and the pre cat deletes all at once and see how good it sounds. Thank you guys for watching another video and we'll see you in the next one. Later. I would take the car out, but we just got the new clutch in and we can't get on it for you guys. So it, it's really pointless.